Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's show. I am your host Sabrina Oxford with Facebook Live and tonight we'll bring in on Grace Arabella Lee. Let me just go add. Add the camera. And she's added that. There we go. Hallelujah. Hi Sabrina. Hi. Um, All right. We got Grace. Let me do the intro. Let me do the intro. Okay. I'm sorry I'm late, by the way. I'm not tech savvy. This is my first time using it, and this is my first time figuring it out, too, so... It's... Okay. That's okay. Yep, okay. let's all get it all figured out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, everybody that's tuning in, this is my friend Grace Arabella Lee. She's an actress and an author and is connected to so many people. She's just always busy, 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 busy. Probably the busiest lady that... Um, I, I got that still has time to communicate with me. So, um, we do talk on the phone. She's my friend. And guess what? She is in 100 Facebook friends, which you can get your copy anywhere. Just Google Sabrina Oxford 100 Facebook friends. The queen of kindness strikes again. And what I do is go around and find people in the world that are using their life in a worthy manner. Somebody such as Grace. And I put them in the book to help lift them up and promote them and for them to be forever um, remembered in the world for being in a book for as long as the book exists. So I want people to always know about Grace. And she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. And she's here to tell us about her. So I'm gonna shut on up right now and let her hit the floor. Grace, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and um, what your book is and how you got into that. And then we'll okay. Well, um, my name is Grace Arbella Lee. I am so honored to be Chapter Forty. Uh, I am Sabrina's friend for a lot of years, but my book is not coming out until this year. <laughs> so it's coming out in four to six weeks by Dorrance Publishing. But the thing is, um, they um, uh, they're going to put me on a media tour and everything. It's called The Good Witch of Winchester. It's like a romantic fairy tale. Uh, saga novel so it's kind of like the thorn birds um, except it, it's pure fairy tale no smut and it, it's about the Salem witch who was born in like around 1940 like right where the sound of music was coming in and uh, she you know um, she starts out as a teacher in Salem and then Salem is a whole new world and she goes to Los Angeles and basically um, you know um, she has an offer to work in uh, charity work in Los Angeles so she flies out there and she's writing all these letters to ambassadors and politicians and you know um christopher Plummer, who is from some of my famous friends with her <laughs> i knew christopher Plummer report and roger moore and sean connery before they passed um but i do have them memorialized in my book i hope nobody sues <laughs> but um so he he decides well what do you do outside of charity work if you don't get paid he goes well i you know moving to california i thought i'd take an extra job because you know they pay um, it's flexible and, and um, money is not my first priority. So he decides to put her in the sound of music and all these stories like Gone with the Wind, <laughs> all these outrageous stories are interwoven. But, you know, she eventually follows Christopher Plummer to Europe. Uh, and then, you know, we do a little bit of time traveling with Amadeus and Tom Hulse and the Christopher uh, Reeve with um, some more in time. But it is only book one. I want to write books two and three. <laughs> I'm looking so, forward. So basically, so yes, I, I I do, you know, have taken a lot of pride. In it. I think it's going to be a classic. But um, for myself, what I do is uh, I major in teaching, so I I I am still a substitute teacher. Um, I've worked for over seven school districts, and um, I'm a SAG actress, and I've worked in um, for the the, most, the job that gives me the gray hair, gives me the weight, and everything uh, is a. Uh, but it's a, it's a pro bono public relations. It was the last 10 years. Since 2012, I became a Screen Actors Guild actress. But, you know, they, my VIP people always take me away. Oh, yeah, so but, never... you know, have you thought about what you can do um, outside of them? You know, like, you got your connection with me, girl. I'm hooking you up, you know? Facebook and time, put you in my book, posting mm -hmm. for you. Um, that yeah. all helps. And then as you develop your own career, because, I mean, I know what you do for them is just amazing. I, there I are things that I see in you that can rise up that are 
even totally separated from them. Like you are your own famous person. Yeah, oh, I know, yeah. but you, you know, know ten years know. of being in the shadows, gosh, Sabrina, it's hard. It's like tragic. What do I have, you know, to give? Well, my first priority outside of money is to see if we could get us all together. I sort of have ambitions of being a minister like Joel Olstein, except in this politically correct, you know, um, you know, but I'll be the first to admit, I don't know the Bible chapters by heart. Although, you know, when I was young, I was very much a sound of music girl, like singing spiritually. It, music is like, it, you know, God, music and God is very personal to me, even though, you know, I can't recite the chapter of the IP like Sabrina. I ask her a question, and she gets back to me at the other page, like, you're like always reliable and everything for that. I was so grateful. But, um, you know, you know I, I'd uh, like to get here. Uh -huh. Can I say something? Here's something somebody else doesn't know about me is that once you buy one of my books, every future book that I write, you get the free PDF. Like, no other author does that. There are some people who have all 12 of my books paid one time for the very first book. That very first book. And they keep getting the free PDFs of every book. Now, they can buy the um, soft or hard copy, too, but at least they get a free copy of it. No other author goes out and does that. And I do, like she said, I actually call people and be like, hey, you're in my book, or hey, um, I'm thinking about putting you in my book. Tell me about your life. I will call people. I don't care if I know you or don't know you. Let's get to know each other. Let's bring everybody together. You know what, Sabrina? I think it's a really honorable thing that you're doing because you're donating money. You know, normally I would do that myself, but right now I'm in debt, so I have to go on this book tour. But this book tour was planned like over like a year or two years ago, so it's not that big of a deal. But I hope to go national with this. But I think it's a very honorable thing that you're doing, that you're donating money to like college kids and orphans and stuff. Because normally I would be doing that as So years. let us go back, swing back to your book, um, The Witch from Ma Manchester? Sorry. Manchester. It's like it's a good witch of Winchester, yeah. Winchester. Yeah. Um oh my goodness. Names are not my forte. Forgive yeah, me. Please It's me. okay. It's okay, Sabrina. I mean, you you wrote like so many and, and this is my first one, so don't worry about it. Um so what <laughs> made you write this one? Like what inspired you? Yeah. What was your inspiration? Well, first of all, I couldn't get out of the house. It was like having kids. If you get messages from London, it's like they have nothing better to do except to be glued to their phones and, and then you have Vladimir Putin. Then a long line of people and you find out that you have no time on your hands and you're making your priorities, making your sacrifices. What is most important to me in life? Going out to an uh, extra job and getting money or staying home and being present for my friends. Well, I made my choice. Uh, I subsequently, I put on a lot of weight, did not help my career at all. But at least at home, I could have the space and privacy to well, write um, some. And I wanted to expand creatively. I'm pretty spiritual, I think. I'm a good person, but I do work with people. Um, I majored in child development. I thought I'd be teaching elementary school, but after college, I had a adventurous spirit. I couldn't sell that in a full-time job with three kids, especially since the teaching environment. I thought it was really political. I mean, you would get in trouble for doing any kind of stuff as a substitute teacher, and I wasn't sure that it was right for me, so I just substitute taught for seven and a half years, and that time I got to travel. But at the same time, um, oh, um, you know, I I wanted, you know, I had some ideas in my head, um, fantasies, if you will, you know, romantic writers have fantasies and they write those into books. So um, I just thought, hey, you know, um, writing a book is long. I don't think I had it in me, but um, I thought I'd write a screenplay. Then I forwarded my stuff to Barney Cohen, you know, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, that writer. Well, anyway, he said, finally just turn this into a book because Do it's I, not- Do Sabrina know about who wrote the Teenage Witch? Yeah, but- he said it was definitely not in screenplay format and Stephen King, my friend, said send him pages. He never got back to me, but he did mention he was really busy with his projects, right? Good. So basically, um, he said to mark it into a book and so I had to like edit, refine several times and rewrite it several times. But, you know, there are a couple of publishers that were gung-ho about it, like Page Publishing, Dort's Publishing, uh, Ex Libre's uh, Christian Publisher and um, Newman Springs Publishing. Um, I just picked two non-exclusive ones. I picked Dorrance Springs and Ex Libres because I could keep the rights to my book. Oh, I do right. have a question, Sabrina. If I publish with those two hybrid publishers, I can still self-publish on Amazon, right? Yeah, because they're hybrid. Oh, good. Because, you know, there's a Simon Schuster self-publisher who called me for, like, appointment. Um, I asked her the same question. Can I still self-publish on Amazon? 
Um, and she said yes, right? Because I didn't sign a ex like non complete right non -complete clause. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So so basically, there you go. Um, but I did want to go into the creative arts. I feel like as a writer, I'm just like honing my craft. When you edit your material several times down and um, you, you find out what you're good at. And if I had to change anything about this book, I think I wrote it from a standpoint of a um, third person narrative, like a soap opera, like a fairy tale. I should have done more perspectives from other people and more, definitely more dialogue. Um, I hope to option this into a screenplay, but um, outside of my ministry duties, um, I do have other goals of my own. I don't want to get heat for this, but I want to be known as a good writer, a successful businessman. That means I want to sell copies. I want to invest my, in my million dollar dream house in the foothills of Sierra Madre, right at the mountains of San Gabriel Mountains, technically still in Los Angeles, looking over the valley. And every day you wake up and the mountains are like right in front of you, and then the valleys below, twinkling lights in the sunset. So it's a million dollar house. I really. Um, you know, when I was working, um, so but, you know, you can wear anything as long as they see, like you're, like you're generally clean cut. You know, they don't give, they don't have a problem with you. Um, I wanted to move there in 2005. Well, it was just too expensive. Definitely like my dress. I like it, Serena. Oh, it's rose. Okay, t check out mine. It's all polka dot with okay, little little flowers. Yeah, we're such girls. Here's our pretty dresses, guys. Okay, so look. Sabrina, I look like Porky Pig. I feel like I put on a pound of, ton of poundage. Look, look at my double chin. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm a skinny mini person and I have one little spot that I don't like in pictures that come out in double chin. Wait, Sabrina, how old are you? I'll tell you how old I am. 52. Okay. 52. Okay, so I'm traveling by five years, but you've got more experience out there. And you've got more experience making things happen. we got to lean on each other. You know what? I'm like thinking, I'm so tired these days, but I am looking forward to going out you there. Know, and, um, and I want you, know, you to realize, Grace, is that you uh -huh. are your own Windsor. You are your own Donald Trump. You are Grace Arabella Lee. Uh -huh. You don't uh -huh. need them as much as you believe you need them. You just need to be right. shining right. your light. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's thank go you ahead. so much for. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got a little star. Joyce came up. Hi, Joyce. Let's say do a shout out real quick. People in Rome. My friend Joyce is here. My friend Victor's here. Actress Ramona Howard. Um, uh, Victor does his own um, show as well. So awesome to see him. And then, of course, um, Matt. Matt Ebergs is um, going to be in the next upcoming book and the first one. And then Hans. So I have another book coming out in October. I'm collecting names. I got 24 names out of the hundred I need. 24 names. Okay. All right. So I have to get on my publisher's back because we have to work on all the items that you presented me with. And um, I, 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 I don't care if it's a sloppy presentation as long as it gets out there, you know, and as long as I stay out there, that's important to me. Right. Well, um, the best way to the best way to stay out there is you're only as good as the last thing you did so right right when you do something i have to stay viable stay active do something yeah, right when you, yeah when you do when you do have your book go out there then use it for as long as you can and then you got to write another book okay oh oh i think the show ended <laughs>